Welcome back guys and for today's video I am going to teach you guys how to combine two images in the pixlr.com features so first off you go to pixlr.com just write down on your browser and it will bring you to this website now we're going to select the playful pixlr x because it has a more simpler tools and a more intuitive design and then it will bring you to this window and I'm just going to create a file by bringing the background first so I'm just going to open the file and then look for the files that need it and there we go so now we have our tools on the left side we have uh, the properties tool and then we also have uh, a range tool where we can move or do modification on it and we have a crop tool the cutout tool and other tools that we will uh, we will discuss later on <clears throat> but on this video we're just going to focus on add image cut out and our properties and also the arrange tool so on the right side we have our navigation and we can zoom in and zoom out of the image that we have and down below we also have the layer panel and the history panel the history will be useful whenever if you in case you made a mistake or in case you forgot about something that you already did and you want to go back and you have you can uh, do that in the history panel so first off I'm just gonna go and click add image and I'm going to bring out another image let's bring out this eagle and I'm going to make it more simple I'm just going to create it at current so it will add the selection of your image automatically as a layer as you can see on the right hand side we have our new image and it will it was being and it was being uh, open as a new layer so i'm just going to resize this to my liking and compose it on the canvas that we have i think this is just the right size and we can also flip it we can even rotate it on our arrange tool You can play around with it and and you can change uh, whatever image that you bring later on on your project uh, to your liking or whatever that you need <clears throat> and there's also the transparency you can change it if in case you want it to be uh, to have more op opacity you can uh, also duplicate the layer by selecting this icon and as you can see on the right hand side on the layers panel our eagle is being duplicated so since we don't need it I'm just going to delete it and continue on just gonna cut out this eagle so it will blend in more better on our uh, cliff image I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm going to use the cutout tool on the left and as you can see we have these options basically it's a method of selection and I'm just going to use the remove mode and I'm just going to use the lasso controls and just going around the just right outside of the eagle and since I use the remove mode 
I'm selecting the ones that I want to remove. So continue on. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. I'm going to select the background of the eagle that I don't need. Following the outlines of the eagle. And in case you made a mistake, you can go back from the history panel. Just going to zoom in a little bit more so I can cut it out more neatly. And let me continue on speeding up. Okay. I'm sure you guys can make a better cut out than the one that I'm making right here. So now we cut out the background of the eagle. I'm just going to move the eagle and put it on our composition. And now we're done. We can go to save button down below. And we can rename this file. And we can leave the file type to JPEG. So we can upload it later on or you can post it in your uh, social media or whatever and then just click save and it will download it automatically for you so you guys as you can see this website provides uh, similar features of what you can do on photoshop and also in GIMP. i'm sure this pixlr.com is very useful for us to create uh, our digital imaging later on because it's very simple and it's very intuitive so i hope you guys also play around with another file and create combine whatever uh, images that you have or with your creative imagination i hope you guys can uh, i hope you guys can enjoy uh, i hope you guys enjoy the video and thank you for watching